been down so long That my mind can't get no rest No, no I've been down so long That my mind can't get no rest No, no This ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my trail been running so long that my feet don't work no more oh yeah i've been running so long that my feet don't work no more oh no it ain't easy darling when the devil's on my trail long time no see me <laughs> yeah it's been some uh, interesting days can't seem to get a break but anyway so I'm out and I've tested I've tested you got the river that comes down through here and I've tested like right on the outside or the edge of this bedrock here but I've never con come up even further and in previous videos I may have showed it but there's this piece of it looks like a trailer frame of some sort iron that was sticking right here so I decided to come up some bedrock broke out as I was scraping it down and trying to shovel up material so I've been rinsing pieces I've already done two pans panned it back I haven't seen if there's anything in it yet the material is still inside there so I'm just gonna keep uh, keep going a little bit here and see if it comes up positive I might go ahead and continue it down here and see if there's a pocket right here but my real goal is to get back down there a little bit where I've done well crevicing before and maybe check up a little bit higher as well so back to you in a bit.
cell phone. All right, everything packed back up except for this camera and my classifier and pan. I'm going to head down a little bit further. Yes, I got 24 pieces here, but this isn't where I intended to go. So I'll just chalk this up as another point of interest. A lot of sand. So chances are most of what I just found was in between the pieces of bedrock that I broke apart. There is more that can be broken out here. I don't know how much more underneath. That wasn't visibly breakable until I started digging into it. So there could be more. So this will be a spot to come back to at some point when I'm bored. But I need to get down river. See you when I get there. All right, I made it. Some of you might recognize this spot. It's treated me extremely, extremely well. <laughs> so, I see nobody else has been here messing around. Like, literally, and I haven't been here in a while. Um, two points of interest here. POI number one, this. POI number two is all this up in here. And this little cavity up in here. Uh, that, that's not going to be able to be moved by me, I'll tell you that right now. But this, this in here could produce some decent gold, possibly. It could get washed down and out. But if, if Ken was here with his great big bar between the two of us, we could move that sucker, get it to plop down. Because I've tested this in here and there isn't crap. So amazingly, you'd think there would be, but so those are the two points of interest. Don't know as I'll do anything here today. We'll see what I do in POI number one before I jump to POI number two. Back in a bit. All right, so that piece of bedrock, that piece of bedrock. And the one on the other side underneath my classifier, I just took out of right here. They were all stacked up right in this little corner. And swept up the material, my little sweeper brush thingy, metal wire sweeper brush broom thing. And, well, some of the material, I mean, rinsing off rocks is in the bucket up there, but this is all I got. So I'm going to pan that, just that little bit right there, rinse out my brush and see what there's, if there's anything in this right here. Back in a bit. Alright, so I abandoned this for, oh, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes and went down. See that big flat rock that's sticking up at an angle? It's got quite the nice face on the front of it. I dug in behind that about right there. A little tiny bit up in there and then a little bit down in the corner and I got another oh, what, 31 pieces just panning there so I mean you got hard digging but there's gold in that too I mean if it's dropping out here then obviously it's gonna be dropping out there too so I'm gonna start poking around with this a little more extensively See what I can do. Well, I'm still kind of at it here. I'm moving kind of slow today, but I'm um, up over 100 pieces so far. But this is all like quartz up in here. I'll show you what I got in the classifier. I've already classified it down and panned it, but. A bunch of quartz. This looks kind of foggy for some reason. Hmm. Let me check this lens. There, that's a little better. So yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of quartz in here. Pretty cool. 
So I don't know how much more I'm going to do. It got a little bit dark on me. It just lightened up a little tiny bit. So we shall see. Back in a bit. Alright everybody, I think I'm going to give it up for the day. We've got uh, 169 or better pieces of gold. Up here, I didn't do too, too much. Um, like I said, I got the quartz. It's a quartz vein coming right through here. It's all deteriorating, breaking up. I did take those pieces out, like I said. And I'd like to get more out, but... <laughs> I don't want that falling down on top of me. So... I elected not to mess with that. I mean, I could easily break these pieces out, but yeah, that one's holding that one, and that one is holding that one. I don't think so. So, I did, uh, I've had people here with me before, and everybody always sits on that and pans, and a couple of a couple of the people I've brought here were fairly new at it. So I said, you know, I'm going to go ahead and dig down in there and see if they lost any gold. I got quite a bit out of that. At least 30, 40 pieces just out of this is a bowl right here. And it's pretty deep. You can see where I cleaned it out. You can see the bedrock is clean right through there. And of course I scraped the bottom so I didn't keep digging material. I'm sure there's more gold, but. And then I went back down in here, over behind that rock that slants up and worked up higher and got quite a bit more out of that too. So that's where the vast majority, and I did go down to uh, POI number two, and or I should say up and checked that. Got a few pieces up in there. Um, just, just testing, you know. So, come back to them at a later date. So I'll get the, uh, I'll get the cell phone so you can get a better look at this gold in the pan. And I got another piece in there, a chunky piece. You can kind of see it right there that I want to take a look at underneath the Tom Love scope video scope. So I'll get back to you in a sec here. Alright, let's take a look at this. Some fairly decent stuff in there. Mostly, you know, there's less small pieces than there is bigger pieces today, so that's a good thing. And it was nice to get out. That's for darn sure. Yeah, I don't want that falling down on top of me. <laughs> well, I know why it's getting dark. It's uh, close to 6.30. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. So I've got everything back in the pack. I'm going to throw it on my back. I came in heavy today. My pry bars and crevicing tools and pan and brought the 23 inch pay streak finder in because I didn't know if there'd be a place to set up and there wasn't, but hey, better to bring it than not. So, But, had a good day. Hopefully I'll go home to good news. I, uh, the last time I took, well, it's about a 40 minute drive. I was lucky to make it back close to home and I blew my, uh, upper and lower intake gaskets on the van hopefully the head gasket isn't gone so i'm hoping that when i get home i'll get a i'll get some word maybe today i don't know it's it's been there since last friday thursday friday thursday night i can't remember but it happened last wednesday so quite an expensive uh quite an expensive breakdown plus i need new tires because inspections do so yay and i've got the whole patent thing that's about uh about ready to pop open folks 
so hopefully that'll be good news too. But anyway, I thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Catch you later, everybody.